have come on a goodwill mission to see and uh, meet the people of Haiti and see what the problems are and hopefully uh, suggest some non-violent solutions to the problems. Well, first impressions were that uh, a lot that I read about uh, the devastation in Haiti is true. I've seen it for my own eyes. Uh, and uh, I don't think the, what I uh, have seen personally is that it's not a hopeless situation, that the people have a heart of gold, uh, that they only need some direction, and uh, if somebody is able to give them the directions, we might be able to help them change. Yes, they can take seeds anywhere. Uh, Haiti is not... Uh, uh, not a bad country, it can also germinate here. Well, I think all of us together, we have to learn about nonviolence and we have to teach it uh, and promote it and help others understand uh, the philosophy of nonviolence. We have ignored it for a long time and we have just assumed that uh, as long as we don't have any fighting, that we are living in peace, and that is not true. So when we learn, the philosophy properly and uh, then we will be able to share it with others and, and spread the message. I think their work is very important but uh, because of the nature of their assignment it's a very short term assignment. Uh, so I think uh, a, a very good thing would be if they could train some of the local people to continue with the work after they have left here. That would be a more meaningful uh, transition. Haiti need to understand that uh, life is not hopeless, that uh, we all pass through all kinds of uh, difficulties. But the important thing for us is to overcome those difficulties and make something out of our life. And I'm sure that the people of Haiti can do it as well as anybody else can do it. So I hope that uh, the people of Haiti will take this message to heart and uh, transform themselves and transform their country. Mm -hmm.